Museum of Florida History um, concentrates on the social and cultural history of Florida. And we have exhibits that range from prehistoric Florida all the way through to World War II. We uh, have audiences that come from the local area as well as statewide audiences because we are the state history museum so we have programs that cover the whole state but we also do a lot of programs uh, for the local audiences and some of those might be third thursday when once a month we are open uh, after hours for people that maybe can't get here during uh, regular work hours uh, and we have a special program during that time where we feature a uh, presentation of florida history of some topic and we'll have live musicians and we'll have a caterer cater the food and it's a nice evening event and that allows people to come when maybe they couldn't come otherwise however we are open 363 days a year uh, we're closed on thanksgiving day and christmas day but otherwise we're open other holidays our holiday hours are usually noon to 4:30, uh, the same hours as as our sunday hours uh, we have a lot of school children come through, especially during the legislative session in the spring. Uh, fourth graders study Florida history, I believe, but we have all ages, all the way from pre-K through 12th grade uh, that make regular visits to the museum. And we have, of course, during the holidays, we have a lot of families visit the museum, especially if they have out-of-town guests. It's a nice thing to do. We're free. Uh, our parking is free and we have covered parking in an adjacent garage. So it makes it very nice uh, for people that maybe don't want to spend a lot of money but yet get something really educational and interesting out of a, out of a trip downtown.